Reform gang member warns teen facing multiple felony charges. Going to the joint is nothing to like play felonies. with. There's tough guy Chaz who thinks jail is a joke. Then there's the child Chaz who doesn't understand what jail really is. Jail doesn't scare me in the slightest. Losing my freedom still. That's time I can't get back. See, personally, I feel it's, like I'll be all right. Thing. Half the city locked up right now in the county jail. You say you're gonna send so me to So you wanna prison? go be with them? That's that's his excuse. Well, half the city's locked up. So you rather just, bro. With my friends that got locked if up. If I was a man, my first thing would be like, damn, I'm not gonna have no uh, women for the next like couple of years. He's not even thinking about that. He's like, oh, I don't wanna lose my freedom. What about stuff? losing your you keep me ass? In there with all of them. I'm gonna get out probably not 10 times worse. I'm gonna be real with y'all. If I go to prison, you always got that number on your back. That ain't never coming off. My next guest, Joseph, is a former Los Angeles gang member and says he has a few words for Chaz. I've known Joseph for a good while now, and um, his son Joey is here with him. And uh, I, I find that interesting because you're here, your dad. You know, Joseph looked like he killed a few people. Um, Joseph, we've, we've talked about this already, and uh, he's playing it this life. You've lived this life. What do you want to say to him? You know, prison life, man, is a, it's a whole different ballgame. You know, you're half white and you're half black, correct? Yes, sir. So when you hit the state, you're going to choose one. Oh, yeah, I know. Which side are you going to choose? Neither. I'm choosing mulatto. You have no choice. You're going to run with the blacks or the whites. Bro, he, th he thinks this is a joke. It doesn't work like that. You have no you choice. You have to pick, sadly. So if you That's choose how the blacks, is. the whites are always going to hate you. If you choose the whites, the blacks are always going to hate you. And that may not be in Okay, let chest. me think. Who would I go with? I mean, this is pretty obvious. I would not go with the white people just because I'm not getting a white power tattoo and they get swastikas and that's like really rude. Like, what? what? No, yeah, we're not. We're definitely staying away from those. But it's outside of so. your realm now because you're put in their world. And then you have to do <laughs> Excuse my language. You have to do things that you may not want to do. that kid will not survive prison for a week. A day, maybe. But I could, I literally see you him crawling him to sleep every day. How you women, got five felonies already? And let me tell you, and you going got to bangs. the joint is nothing nice. Bro, that hairstyle doesn't even go you with what you're like doing. You seem like you got a great heart, man. You got, you got See, his charisma. hairstyle. Like uh, my man's over here said, you got beautiful You know he don't charisma. play. And that's a man with no hair, because, yo, the crazy thing is a lot of my homeboys. I had a friend who, he didn't want to be on probation, so he said... Let me just go to jail for three months. Let me just go to Rikers, get it over with. Because I can't do this for the next year. They wanted him to come in three times a week to, to do a P test, right? To make sure he's not on drugs. Also, what ended up happening is he said, yeah, let me just go to Rikers for three months. Bro, he lost all his hair. He came home with mad PTSD. He started doing heroin. Let's just say... A lot of people think they're gangster and they, you know what I mean? Like, and then, and then you learn. And you attract star, not. bro? Like, you 17, you were faced with five felonies. You are gonna do prison time. I hope you don't, but you are gonna do prison time. But until you find it in you to live for something, your mom, you love your mom, I heard you have a little- The sad thing is he's not listening. You could tell every time people like, bro, try to tell you, don't make the same mistake I made, bro. I just did 50 years in jail, 30 years, 20 years. Like, you don't have to do that. Brother, right? People don't listen. This is my son, He's only going to learn from his mistakes. I was gone the first almost six years of his life, man. He just graduated college only because he gave me a, he gave me a purpose crazy. to live. When I came home from prison, I, I left them. They wanted to kill me because I, I betrayed the ones that I loved the most. But I had a purpose now, my son. And it's hard to stand on your own, but it's a beautiful thing when you actually stand on your own and you find that self-worth because ain't nothing outside can touch you anymore. Joey, he's turned this around, right? I mean, you've watched it since he's come back and actually made a different path in his life, right? Oh yeah, like 100%. Just seeing, I mean, I was I was five, six when he got out of jail. So just seeing how he's grown from then to now is, is amazing, he's a completely different person. And you're the first in this family line to break the cycle. Yes. You didn't go the wow, gang route. You're God. the first in Because a this lot of times, there's people, I remember I was watching Oz and he was in the same prison as his father and his grandfather. And it was just one of those families where everyone just goes to jail and it's like a, a curse. So to see somebody not following their father's footsteps to finish college, like it's crazy. You can't judge a book on its cover. Cause when I first seen the kid, I'm like, 
oh, damn, I wonder if he went to jail too, like his dad. But then hearing that he didn't and that his father changed his life around and, yo, I love family, hearing stories like to that. To break that family leg. That's That's I wonder what his neighbor is. Watch him but you can become do like that. a detective or something. All this hustle, the game, put that in the bars, bro. You teach him that. Your little brother looking up to you like an idol, bro. You got yeah. to him. See, because his son, I'm not going to lie, even though he's not about that life, he'll survive more likely in prison just because that's his son. So he has a reputation. He's probably been in a gang. So whatever gang he's with, even if the kid doesn't join, they'll probably protect him just off the strength of the, da the dad, just because the dad is such a gangster. Probably, the, maybe not, you know, you never know. He might have enemies and shit, but. Oh, and that's why I don't let them. That kid, this kid, the white kid. He wouldn't make it a day. His it, bro, he has no gang associations. He doesn't even know how things are run. Talking about, oh, no, I'm not picking one side. I'm gonna be with the mulattoes. Like, doesn't work like that. And I'll tell you right now, I think the I don't even see black people accepting him. Like, he looks straight up white. Um, I really, yo, I and you definitely don't want to be around. What are those called? White supremacists? Like. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be with them. You're better off just being somebody's bitch, to be honest. 